Hi, this is C here Prophesy. I am coming to you today uh, to relay a word I received on the morning of January 21st, which was a Sunday. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, honestly, since I received the word and spoke the word out um, to my pastor and to a few other people along the way as God directed, um, it's just been one attack after another after another and not just one thing. When one thing came and it didn't work, then it switched over to something else and we went through this now um, probably half a dozen times. Um, so I would um, guard, you know, warn you or, or guard you, please guard up, uh, please stop here and put on your whole armor of God or certainly by the time you listen to the end of it, go ahead and put your armor of God on um, and just be aware um, that for some reason there just seems to be uh, a lot of activity around this. Um, Father, I just thank you. I come before you as I try to offer this word that you have given me to the few people that are on my channel. Um, for the ones that haven't already heard it um, in person or verbally from me that I talk to, um, you know, I, I'm just hoping that if there's anybody else on the channel that hears this, it's not at all um, to upset anybody, to, to scare anybody. It is simply because I believe God is wanting his church to be the church, and he is also wanting his people to be prepared, um, and that's it. So I thank you, Father, that you, you have given us this word, and I thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. We know that the, um, all the brothers and sisters that do not know you are just so heavy on your heart that you, you know that that harvest is there. You've, put, you've seen that harvest grow. You've seen that harvest there, and you said, hey, the harvest is there, and I want to bring it in. And so, Father, I just come before you right now. Let not one word pass through my mouth that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Um, just to preface this a little bit, I will be giving you the word he gave me, but I also will be adding the things he was talking to me while he was giving me the word, um, and that will give you a more complete picture. Um, I hope I say it in a coherent manner. I'm trusting uh, Holy Spirit will help me do that. And so here goes. Um, I had asked for a word, a passage, something in the Bible, a scripture for that day. Usually I receive one. That day I did not. Instead, I was taken into worship. And after worshiping for a while here alone at my house, um, he gave me, uh, basically a word came in. Uh, he gave me a word. Um, so basically, he said he was bringing, bringing an offering. He was bringing an anointing of fire, an anointing of fire to his church, to his people. And by his church, he means anybody that currently believes, anybody that's been trying to run for God, anybody that, um, you know, believes um, and is, is actually um, trying to walk out, having him be their Lord. Um, also, uh, the prodigals, the ones that are sleeping, the ones that are lukewarm, the entirety of his church. Um, and then um, he said that he was coming and he was bringing great manifestations with that fire. And um, then he asked me, did I remember when I was first, uh, first asked him into my heart? And I thought, yeah. And I instant picture as if I was standing there at 15. Um, and basically, when I accepted Christ um, into my heart, I immediately started, uh, was filled up with the Holy Spirit and started speaking in tongues right then that day, um, even though I had known very little about God up to that point. Um, at any rate, um, so I said yes, and, and kind of the question in my spirit was, and that was great, right? And I thought, yeah. And he said, so he's bringing these great manifestations, and he said, um, he reminded me, see these things you do, these and greater, or see these things I do, these and greater you shall do, for I go to the Father. And I saw it and thought, yeah. And, and he said, remember, I brought Lazarus out of the tomb. And just as I started to ask, wow, what's greater than bringing, you know, the dead back to life, meaning both physical and spiritual, um, basically he interrupted that thought with, but I am bringing a sword. 
and um, I am I can see and when he said but I am bringing a sword I saw that sword come down that big sword come down and basically he talked about bringing that sword down right in the middle of his church he quoted the scripture about um, it di dividing the bone and the marrow and I'm sorry I'm not prepared I don't have that right here with me um, and basically uh, he is coming and he is offering this fire anointing to all of his church, no matter what state they're in right now, to all of his church. And for all that are that, that say yes and accept that, they're going to be like he called them fireball. They're going to move forward like fireballs. And I got just a glimpse of what that looked like. Um, if you imagine um, silver balls rolling forward in a group formation, everybody rolling the same direction um, with that, almost that um, indigo or blue kind of gas colored flame with also a brilliant white. So there was brilliant indigo and brilliant white flame um, coming off these balls as they rolled forward almost in a formation together in the same direction. Um, he said, but for the lukewarm, those that choose to remain lukewarm, they will be cut off. Now, I do want to say, he did not say they will be cut off forever. And I, and I am aware of the scripture that says um, that if you are lukewarm, he will spit you out of his mouth. Um, but he did not elaborate on that with me. He said they will be cut off, and I felt like he was saying they would be cut off of this move of God as he wants to bring the rest of his kingdom in. He wants to bring the rest of his children into the kingdom. Um, and, and so, but it was both a very uh, encouraging, elating type word um, and turned dramatically into a very big warning word. For those that may be lukewarm um, and so that was the general word I would like to say uh, a note about when I delivered it to my pastor um, I was looking for an opening like somebody saying does anybody have a word which doesn't necessarily happen in my church but I knew that the Lord could move in any way he wanted to bring that word forth and when it did not happen um, you know I had told one other person at that point possibly two uh, that are close compadres um, that are in a study with me together um, and that know that I hear and see things uh, from God. And um, the one lady said, why aren't you going to tell Pastor so-and-so? And I said, well, I was going to if there was an opening, but I guess I'll just send it to him in like a video or an audio clip. Um, she goes, oh, you, you should at least tell him that then. So I thought, okay. So I went to tell him that because I didn't want to take up the time. Church had already ended. People were being, you know, leaving, etc. But I told him, you know, I got a word from God this morning. I know that it's a word from God, and I will send it to you either in a video clip or an audio clip, um, just so you know. And, and he said, oh, okay. But the moment he did that, um, I felt almost like somebody had pressed down on my shoulder, and all of a sudden, um, all I can say is the end result is I believe God was saying, no, you're going to give it to him now. Um, because then open my mouth and the word came out. But what happened at the same time was this crazy manifestation where right in the core of me, like about where your rib cage divides up high upper stomach, lower chest, whatever you want to call it. Um, and deep, deep in, it felt like an earthquake started. And it not just started a little bit, it started a lot bit. I had my hands out in front of me, and I saw my hands and arms shaking, but I thought it was only limited to my arms and hands. I didn't realize that literally my entire body, according to my friend, from top to bottom, was shaking uncontrollably so much that I almost fell over to the right. And... I, Suddenly, I felt an arm come up under me on the left-hand side as this word was being spoken. Um, and, the, and the word was very precise. It was very um, straightforward, but it came out shaking like it was having an earthquake as well. Um, as soon as the word finished out of my mouth, the manifestation completely ended as if it had never happened. And so I sort of feel like I... 
just as the Lord sometimes asks you a question when he's really telling you something, or he tells you something when he's really asking a question. I personally believe that he was saying, um, you know, I am coming with this offering of fire, and do you want it? Um, so uh, the manifestations that I'm having now seem to be um, much greater or more pronounced than the man manifestations of the past. So I just wanted to let you know um, that that has come along with this, along with uh, numerous attacks ever since this word has come. Um, moving on, that was a Sunday. On the next day, he um, used my name and he said, I want you to pray for your family. And I said, okay. And he said, no, I want you to pray for all your family. And I said, okay. And then in my mind, he was speaking to me. He wasn't talking about just who is actually related to me, um, my close and immediate family or my favorite family members. He brought up, you know, ex-husbands, their spouses, those people's children, um, people that you don't even know that are related to your relation that you're related related to, um, you know. So from the very oldest to the very smallest bud um, on the tree, no matter if it's a step, it's it's an ex, it's somebody's Aunt Louise's brother Earl, um, whatever they may be, um, from the oldest to the youngest, and even those that might be in utero now or we will be in utero soon, um, pray for your families. He used the Lauren Daigle song um, about uh, dry bones coming to life, and he said, pray that the dry bones come to life, that the dead hearts come alive, and pray the breath pray my breath into them. And so that's what we're supposed to pray for all of our families, um, out to the outermost reaches. And then he added, and I'm sure he needed to, and then he added, um, with no partiality. So um, that was on Monday. And then either Tuesday or Wednesday, and I apologize because I failed to write it down, um, then he brought back the original idea and showed me a different way. And what he showed me was like a big um, amusement ride turnstile. And when he first showed it to me, there were about 10 people in it. It was a big turnstile, but there were only 10 people in it. The people were kind of leaning back on it, leaning over it, kind of standing looking bored or tired. Um, and there were about 10 and then he showed me the turnstile again and the turnstile looked like it was empty um, and then he explained what I had just seen and as he said it I'd see the turnstile again so I see the turnstile with the people and he said that was the people that are actually uh, that belong to me, that are that are trying, that are pressing in, that are trying to walk with me now. And they are in the turnstile, but they are tired, and they are waiting. And then he showed me the second turnstile again that had no people, and he said, and this, these are the lukewarm, because the lukewarm believe that they are in the church um, but they're not really in the turnstile at all because they've been distracted and um, basically distracted away by other things, and they're not even in the turnstile. And then he reminded me again about those who say yes to this fire anointing, this offering that he's bringing, this fire anointing. He said those will be able to move, maneuver quickly through this turnstile and be set off quickly. Um, carrying those great manifestations, you know, uh, walking out, running out those great manifestations for the Lord. Um, he said for the lukewarm, um, if they choose to be lukewarm at that time, they're going to get stuck in that turnstile. They'll be stuck in the turnstile and they won't be able to move one way or another, or they will get frustrated and they will leave altogether. So, 
Um, that is the completion of the entire word um, that has to do with this fire anointing. And I just wanted to bring it to you. Um, I felt, you know, as far as feelings go, I feel two things. I feel that the Lord really, really is longing for those that do not know him yet, um, that, that he knows are his, but they have not come into the kingdom yet. He is longing for his complete church, for his complete church. And the other side of the coin is, I believe it is a very stern warning, um, if you are lukewarm, um, if you even are prodigal or sleeping, but definitely, um, you know, if you just don't choose to be lukewarm, when he comes to offer you the fire, please accept the fire. Accept the fire. Please accept the fire. Um, at any rate, um, all I can do is offer what he gives me, and, um, you know, the rest is on him. And whether or not um, you believe the word is up to you. I would pray that if the Holy Spirit didn't already touch you, um, that you would pray and you would ask the Lord, do I need to pay attention to this? So, um, you know, awesome, awesome word for those that are already trying to run for God. Awesome word, awesome word. But please pray for your people, pray for your family, right down to the littlest buds or the buds that maybe are still are still even growing in their mama. Um, please, please pray. Keep your family covered. Keep yourself covered. Um, you know, if you are accepting this word, especially keep yourself covered. Make sure you have the uh, full armor of God on, whether you believe this word or not. Um, I will tell you. It has been nothing but attack since in one form or another, but our God is bigger, and um, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Um, the Lord brought it to us for a reason. My belief is so we would, he says, get ready, get ready, get ready. So my brothers and sisters, I'm just asking you, are you ready? Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen.